Hello, let's discuss the number of real solution when a quadratic function is given in vertex form. I hope you remember the vertex form of quadratic relation. We can write this as f of x equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q. So this is the vertex form. Here a gives you the vertical stretch and most important here when we are talking about real solutions we will mainly be concerned with a whether it's positive or negative the sine of a now and this q is giving you the vertex position y value right so we will also consider the sine of q <coughs> now there are different kind of scenarios for example consider one by one most of them so number of real solutions means what Number of real solutions means that number of x intercepts which you see, okay? That's what we mean by number of real solutions, okay? As I have discussed earlier also, solutions could be imaginary, but in that case you don't have x intercepts, right? They are imaginary numbers and they cannot be represented here. The zeros can't be represented here. But at present we are only considering the real solutions. So that means the real zeros and the x intercepts, okay? <coughs> Now, first condition, when will you have just one real solution? For one real solution, our scenarios could be that we have a parabola something like this or something like this, right? That means it may open up or down, but the vertex is on the x-axis. If the vertex is on the x-axis, that means what should be the value of q? q should be 0 because it's not translating up or down. Do you understand? p could be anything because you can translate left and right. It doesn't make sense. And a could be either positive, if it is positive it will open up, or negative. Therefore, we can summarize that for one real solution, one real solution. What is important? Q equals to zero. That is a key issue. So for one real solution, Q should be zero. <coughs> now, let's consider to two or no real solutions because those are the other possibilities, right? Okay, let's look into no solution. When do you get no real solution? When we have vertex here and the parabola opens upwards. Do you see that? No real solution. Vertex here and parabola opens upward means Q is positive and A is also positive. Do you understand? If A is positive, it will open up and Q is positive, Q is up. Is it okay? Or the solution could be that vertex is here and it opens downwards. That means what? That means Q is negative and A is also negative. Both same sign. That is important. So what we say is if A and Q have same sign. Do you see that? Then what happens? Then we have no real solution. See, this question is asked in many different ways. They will say x intercepts or zeros, okay? But in any case, it is no real solution or no x intercepts. Do you see? In either case, there are no x intercepts also, right? Now, here we can take another solution. Scenario could be that we have Q here, but it opens upwards, correct? So if that is the case, then we have two solutions. Do you see that? So what is the position here? Here, Q is negative because you went down below the line, right? So the vertex is in this place, negative, and the parabola goes up. So when you go up, you will cross x-axis at two points. 
So why will you go up? Because A is what? A should be positive to go up, right? So that way you see different signs here, correct? Uh, let's take another scenario. Let's say Q is here. That means Q is positive. To have two real solutions, it should open downwards, right? Does it make sense? So when will it open downwards? If A is negative, right? And when will Q be up? You translate it up only when Q is positive. Do you notice? They are of opposite signs. Correct? This is extremely important observation. So if A and Q have opposite sign, do you see that? Then what happens? We get two real solutions. Does it make sense? Two real solutions. Correct? Now, I hope you understand the concept. Let's take some examples. Let us say if I have a function f of x equals to minus 2 x plus 1 whole square minus 3. In this, how many solutions do we get? The real ones. Tell me. If I have gx equals to half x square plus 3. How many solutions do we have here? Tell me. If I have hx equals to minus half x square plus 5. How many solutions do we have? Let me know. If we have px equals to 2x minus 1 whole square minus 3. How many solutions should we get? If we have qx equals to, I am just writing at random these equations okay then you need to tell me how many solutions can we have right we can write as many equations you want provided you understand the concept correct so here we have x minus 1 whole square right now let's go through them one by one and see if you have really understood the concept first one a is negative and Q is negative. Both are negative. Same sign. That means what? Q negative means you are here, right? Negative 3. And then open downwards. How many solutions? 0. Correct? A is half x square. That means you are right on the x axis, right? And that means A is positive. It will open upwards. And 3 is positive. That means somewhere here, right? Somewhere here and going upwards. How many solutions? Zero. Same sign. Do you see that same sign? So both gives you zero solutions. Ahx equals to minus A is negative and Q is positive. So you are somewhere here and opens downwards. How many solutions? Two solutions. Do you understand? Here A is positive. That means you are going up and Q is negative. You are down, right? Somewhere here going up. So it is a scenario like this. And how many solutions do you expect? Two. Here, A is positive. That means you are going up and negative. This is similar to this. Exactly same two solutions. How about this? X minus 1 whole square. Q is 0. That means one solution. Do you understand? It's so simple to find number of solutions. Now, the problem for you is to write an equation which will have one solution. Write another equation which will have two solutions and write the third equation which will have no solution and try to communicate why is it so okay i hope you understand this and if not do let me know please don't forget to write your comments and if you have any questions i'll be glad to answer them thanks